Hi, this is Aurora from Supercharged Science. In a minute, I'm going to take you through a harmonica experiment taken from my ever-growing library of favorite science experiments for kids. Now, if you want more free experiments like these, be sure to visit my website at www.bestsciencelearning.com. Now, the harmonica experiment is an experiment in sound, and what we're going to do is we're going to use rubber bands and popsicle sticks and a sheet of paper to actually make a harmonica you can tune. Now this is a great experiment for kids in grades kindergarten and first grade because they get to learn about sound and resonance and how to actually make sound themselves using very simple materials. Take a one inch by eight inch piece of paper and rip it in half. Stack two popsicle sticks one on top of the other and take one half of your strip of paper and wrap it around and around and around and secure it with tape. Make sure you tape only the paper, not the popsicle stick. Do the same thing for the second half of your strip of paper until you have two small cuffs. Next, take a fat rubber band and stretch it along the length of one of the popsicle sticks. Slide the cuffs one onto each end of the popsicle stick over the rubber band and place a second fat popsicle stick right on top. Secure each of the ends of the harmonica with a rubber band. Place this up to your mouth and gently blow through. Soon you'll be able to hear a buzzing sound. Now to change the pitch, simply slide the cuffs closer together or further apart and you'll be able to tune your harmonica. Now I'm going to take you through a chemistry experiment. This is also taken from my big library of favorite projects for kids. Now this experiment, it teaches kids in kindergarten and first grade all about acids and bases, but it does it in a very safe way. We're actually going to make a universal indicator, something that will change color to indicate whether something's an acid or a base. So this is a great basic chemistry experiment to really get kids feet wet just in the whole field of chemistry. Are you ready? Let's get started. Your first step is to take a head of red cabbage and coarsely chop it so it'll fit into your blender. Add enough water to cover and blend. Strain out the pieces with a fine mesh strainer and discard the solids. The juice left behind is your acid base indicator. This is going to change color depending on how acidic or basic your different solutions are. You can test different things from your cupboards such as distilled white vinegar, this is a good acid indicator. Notice the color change. How about Sprite? We can also test milk of magnesia. You know that it's an antacid, so that means it's a base. You can test lemon juice. You can test orange juice. You can test baking soda, baking powder. The closer the color is to the red end of the spectrum, it's going to be more acidic. And the closer it is to the greenish blue end, it's going to be more basic. For example, your distilled white vinegar was acidic and your baking soda was basic. Now, if you have a microwave, you're going to love this next experiment. This experiment is perfect for kids in kindergarten and first grade because it teaches them how microwaves work and also how light waves work and interact with molecules. Are you ready? It's a very simple experiment to do and only needs a few items. Open up your microwave and place a naked bar of ivory soap on a plate and close the door. Turn the microwave on for two minutes and notice any changes that happen to your bar of soap. A microwave heats your food up because it basically shoots light beams at your food that are tuned to excite the water molecule. When they made this bar of ivory soap, they whipped in a lot of extra air into it to make it light and fluffy. Now air has water moisture in it. This bar of ivory soap has a lot of water whipped into it and so when by exciting it, it starts to expand like steam. After two minutes, go ahead and open the door of your microwave and remove your plate. You can still use both the soap and the microwave when you're done. If you want more free experiments like this, just visit my website at www.bestsciencelearning.com. I've got dozens of experiments and videos and tons of resources to help you and your kids learn science. My focus is not just on teaching science, but in helping kids develop a real sense of fascination and personal interest in it. So go ahead and download your free copy of the Science Experiment and Activity Guide, plus free experiment videos and more right now. Go to www.bestsciencelearning.com right now and get your free experiments. 
Happy experimenting. I'll see you in the lab.